When we last left Tinley and the Shamrock Boys, the captain had just nearly died to injuries sustained in his duel with the orc chief but as he lay there dying his mental barriers ripped away and his true power was released <sighs> throw down your sword and submit or i'll destroy you <laughs> Submit? No, we're just about to have some fun. <laughs> you crazy bastard. <laughs> the orc chief rushes in and swings his mighty blade down at the captain. The big orc's attack bounces uselessly off the captain's aura, and the captain attacks. The orc is flung backwards. <laughs> Impressive. Finally someone who can test my power. Here I come, man-thing. Can you block all of my attacks? The orc chieftain rushes in with his mighty blade swinging over and over again, but each time the blade smashes against the captain's aura, and the captain sends the orc back with one mighty attack. Undeterred, the big orc tries again and again to find a weakness to the captain's mighty defense. Finally, the big orc stops. And he walks calmly to the captain. <laughs> At last, a worthy opponent. <laughs> Let me show you my power. <laughs> the ground begins to rumble and shake. The very air around the two electrifies. And the orc is surrounded by a glowing red aura. Holy shit, thought the captain. I thought I was the only one. What the hell? The big orc renewed his assault against the captain. He was stronger, faster, more powerful. The captain had never felt a force like this before. Each clash between the two mighty warriors caused the earth to shake. The two monsters launched at each other over and over again, neither giving an inch to their opponent. The orcs and shamrock boys moved away from the fight, afraid. And as all eyes fell upon the captain and the orc chieftain during their amazing battle, a certain demoness made her move. Yeah, these fools have made it too easy. I sense the presence of the gem inside this building. It'll be mine soon. <laughs>